Hi, I'm Glenn Ridge, and Wild Safari Africa is a series that I'm starting to help introduce you to South African plains hunting, to show you a little bit more what's you know what it's really like out here, to give you a better feel, to make you feel like you're actually there with me hunting. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and tell your friends. See you on the plains. Hi, uh, good morning everybody. It's uh, about 5.30 in the morning right now. We're getting ready to take an early start to go on a baboon hunt. Uh, this hunt's going to be a little bit different than your standard hunt. We're actually going out to a dairy farm. Uh, the farmer has given us a ring and said he's having a real big issue with baboons. So this is more of an uh, animal population control more than anything else. Uh, the baboons are breaking in and stealing feed and eating tons of food every month. And the farmer said that if the, they don't have enough food and the cows start coming in, that the baboons will actually turn on the cows and start biting them in the face. And, and, uh, and it's causing a real, real, real bad issue. So uh, we're actually going to go out. It's a little bit different, uh, but it should be uh, still pretty fun. Uh, we're, we're going to find a nice place and hopefully in the shadows and try to catch them before the sun comes up. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. We can uh, get our position and be ready for when the food is coming. Yeah, because the baboons are on their schedule. Exactly. They know exactly what's going on. Exactly. They, they know when they can see the tractor standing in the doorway and there's nobody here. Yeah. Well, they are probably watching us as we are yeah. speaking. We just can't see them. What are you up with? Okay, so uh, we had a bit of a rainstorm come through. It's been raining for the last 10 minutes. Uh, so we're hanging out in this uh, food or this barn that has a lot of feed in it. And the baboon's been coming up and raiding this farm, eating the cows feeding. Right now we're just setting up, watching the field, watching the cows. The rain coming through, they're probably hunkered down, uh, getting out of the rain. So as soon as the rain stops, um, we suspect about another 10 or 15 minutes after that, they'll start getting up and coming in. And uh, hopefully we'll have some action. They just keep moving in. They don't fucking stop anymore. It's only going to take them about 30 minutes to cover. Get down there. See where they feed in too. Just hold on him. Where's he at? He, he went straight down. I don't see him. Okay, he's down. down. Okay, 
we got other things we need to go hunt other than baboons, so we're going to head back and try to go get on a bush buck. Okay, this is, uh, we're going for bush buck again. This is the last chance we have at getting a bush buck. Uh, we've been out six times, and uh, we've been unsuccessful. We've seen plenty, but not the one we're going after, uh, not the big one. So, uh, yeah, that's it. See that there? Hmm? Look, look the oranges. Mm -hmm. There's that red spot on the right. That's on the left. Looks like God would be gone instead. Just hold on him. Where's he at? He went straight down. I don't see him. Yeah, he's straight down. Okay, there's the characters. Yeah, just just hold on him. If in case he get back gets back up. Okay, I don't everybody see says that he went down off the impact. I didn't see him go down, but uh, everybody else here saw it. So let's just give it a few more minutes. Yeah, no, I do agree. And uh let him fully expire. But yeah, he's a beauty man. <laughs> that was a big round. <laughs> well done. Jeez. Six days and finally got him. Yeah. <laughs> last day, last evening. You deserve it, man. You deserve it. Well done. It's been a long time since I've hunted it's something long. these many days without being successful. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, 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 it's nice to do that every now and then. Yeah. Persistent pays off, you know. Exactly. Sometimes That's you got. Exactly. Sometimes you have to risk it for the biscuit, you know. And uh, I think we just got the biscuit. I think we just got the biscuit. <laughs> we actually <laughs> got a whole fucking <laughs> bag of biscuits. <laughs> it took us six days to do it, but we finally got it done. <laughs> oh man, he looked big. He yeah, looked real big. I'm, I'm shaking. Yeah. He's 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 beautiful, beautiful ram. So when your pH is shaking, you know it's a big animal. You know it's really big. You were shaking on that steam bug. Steam bug is it? <laughs> <sighs> true. Let's see what time is it now. Alright, it's been five minutes. Yeah, let's go over Shall there. Shall we advance? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over there. Black. 
very dark, very prominent spots on him. Okay, we're out here in the Sun Sunday River Valley with Thorndale Safaris. This is the last evening of an eight day safari. We've hunted this particular bush buck for uh, six days now, and we finally got him this evening. It's a little after three. Uh, we've, we've seen this book, this particular bush buck twice uh, in our six days out here. And we finally were able to get on him tonight. Uh, we spotted him up on the hill about 750 yards away. My tracker, Freddie, he's the one that actually laid eyes on him first. My PH Swayze, we put together a quick plan and uh, came in and put a stock on him. Uh, next time we saw him, he was 350 yards away. We closed the distance within 150 yards. At that point, he was in thick bush. I had to wait for him to clear a cactus. He stepped out and I was able to put a nice shot and put him down right there in his tracks. Uh, I would like to thank Swayze and Freddie, my PH and tracker, for everything they've done for me on my safari. We've taken a lot of extremely big animals and uh, just had a real good time. Uh, this is my second time hunting with Thorndale, hunting with Swayze, hunting with Freddie. And uh, they're really, really good PHs and trackers. They're a really good team. Uh, they try everything they can to put you on the biggest animals they can find. I can't be happier than with this uh, Cape uh, bush buck. This is, uh, this is the one the, uh, that they knew about when it was in this area. And I wasn't gonna settle for anything less than this particular specimen. So, uh, once again, I just want to say uh, thank you for following us. Thank you for watching the uh, channel. And uh, we hope that brings some, uh, bring some more footage to you. Next time on Wild Safari Africa.